was when I was about 16, 17 at school, and this is probably my proud, the proudest I've been of a sketchbook, certainly from school or college. I put a lot of effort into it, mainly after, I think in the school year before this, I had put no effort into my sketchbook.
this was the school trip to London. I just took a load of pictures of various people and then combined it in this drawing. Did some big graphics and the Houses of Parliament. Come to think of it, that guy looks a little bit like Dominic Cummings, the uh, kind of disgraced UK politician. I remember being very pleased with this girl. and hours of work into these pages that kind of maybe, you know, the work I was producing at the end may not have been that good, but I thought I'm going to make this sketchbook crazy, or as crazy as it can be, the silhouette of uh, the lamp of the, the kind of um, stand guard on each side of the River Thames, because uh, this was just next to
pieces too because I didn't consider myself very good at drawing faces this is just a straight copy and I wanted to get good at making up faces which is still not my strong point more hands except coloured in this time and I really liked it and I still do that kind of style where people get like pinkish highlights on their skin so
using a lot of cross-hatching like in comics, I think that one's quite successful. I'm pretty pleased with that one. Also, this might be one of my favourite drawings I've ever done, especially from when I was a teenager of Robocop. I still kind of rate this to this day. This was done with Pyro and kind of set me on the track of realising how good a shading and tone you can get with Pyro. With the cross-hatching and like that. Using the negative space for his gun going off here. I was really, really chuffed with that. Faces in the crowd. Again, trying to just get good at drawing random people. Um, I think this was probably my best friend at school. That's me. I think this is either Alfred Hitchcock.
So this is the one I really did like, the one with the gun in the hand and the kind of 360 fish eye view. There's like, if you read the graffiti, it kind of reads around in a story, he's killed someone, there's footprints, there's my dad's old car there <laughs> that I used to reference. And yeah, like I say, you can see the building that I just made up versus the buildings that I looked at references for. I think that's literally one that I took a picture of. I love this 
journalistic journey that I've carried on through today, like narrative and I guess I'd say colour, but I don't really use colour, I guess more narrative and perspective. And yeah, that's the end of this sketchbook from school. I've never wanted to use these other pages because I wanted to just preserve this. I'm very, very proud of it. Oh, there's uh, evidence from my collaging with these hands. And I think just a few notes in the back from the teacher and a few things to remember. Claustrophobia crowds. and read everything, you know, it's almost like a lesson.